in this question, we're told about an LTI system that has a unit impulse applied to its input. So we'd expect whatever comes out at the other end, the output, to be the impulse response. So we're, we're given the output, let's say, decaying exponential. So this decaying exponential, that is, by definition, our impulse response. So this expression here, this is our impulse response, by definition, because the input is an impulse. And the question is, find the transfer function. The transfer function is the Laplace transform of the impulse response. So we can carry out the Laplace transform, or we can look it up using the Laplace transform table. So what we're looking for in the table is the exponential. Okay. The, the unit step doesn't mean much because it's the impulse response of a, of a causal system and the Laplace transform assumes positive time anyway. Don't worry about the 4 because the 4 is a scaling factor and it's a linear process. So we're looking at the exponential. Now, the Laplace transform of e to the minus at is simply 1 over s plus a. So in this case, h of s will be 1 over s plus a, where a in our case is equal to 2, because we've got the minus 2. So it'll, we need to include the 4 there. So it's 4 times 1 over s plus 2. We can just write that as 4 over s plus 2. So that, that's our final value, our final answer for the uh, transfer function. If the question had asked for h at a particular value, say they'd ask for h of 0, you would simply substitute 0 instead of the value for s. So to find the transfer function, all you need to do is find the Laplace transform of the impulse response. And the impulse response sometimes isn't given as impulse response. Sometimes it's given as the output when the input is an impulse. And you, you understand that to mean this is the impulse response.